Hey guys, this is Chris, and I'm back with my third and final lesson on power chords. So, at this point you might be thinking, what else could I really show you? Um, well, there's really only one more technique that I'm interested in showing you with power chords. Before I want to move on to another technique, another uh, piece of this lesson plan that I've got going. So, with this guy right here, we've been learning these basic three power chords in the first lesson. <laughs> And then we added a couple little somethings to them, which would be your hammer-ons, your vibrato, and your uh, octaves. So that's the basic idea of what we learned so far. So the next thing I want to be able to teach you is what I call chord flutters. Um, basically, they're hammer-ons and pull-offs using a power chord form. So it sounds something like this. And that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of it. So all I want you to do is learn how to do that next piece and then be able to add that in all what you've been doing. So for here we're going to start with our basic G power chord that we've been doing. And then we're going to do our hammer-ons. So this should be barring across all the strings. That way you get a nice hammer-on like this. So those two strings that we've been pressing down with these other fingers right here, these are the ones that we're going to be hammering and pulling off of. So it's going to go... That's our sound that we're looking for. That's the chord flutter we're looking for. And then we're going to slide up to our next chord, do the same thing. Again, it's barred, and these are the two strings up here that we're going to be hammering on and pulling off of. And then from here we slide back down to our uh, third and final chord of this phrase. And then right back to the beginning. So again, what I want you to be able to do is your little chord flutters are... And that's the basic piece of it. So I want you to be able to add, let's say one chord flutter, and then if you can, do an octave at the end of it. So. So you got that nice basic sound that you had. We added a couple of techniques from the second video and then right there I added a chord flutter on the second chord. So I want you to go ahead and try playing around with your uh, chord flutters. See if you can do it on the first, second, and third chord in this progression. And then I want you to take that and add it into this phrase where you think it's necessary. Add it, in, uh, add it for flavor where you think it's needed. Use that along with your slides, your vibratos, hammer-ons, the, the hammer-ons and pull-offs I taught you. I want you to be able to use all those different techniques inside of these three chords and make this song your own. Take something that I've given you, use those tools, and make it your own with whatever kind of creativity that you would like to add into this. So with these tools, you should be able to really get expanded and started. You could take a song like Green Day here. and start to make your own. So 
go ahead and take a song like that and then make it your own using these tools that I've given you. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and let me know below the video. If you like what you've seen so far, keep on subscribing down, watching these videos, and get more people on the channel. That way I can keep this channel going. So, uh, next I'm going to teach something a little more difficult. You'll see what that lesson is coming up next week. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and keep on playing.